everybody. It is Monday, January 18th, and this is a yellow, orange, and green, and blue belt class. Yellow, orange, green, and blue belt class. As you probably heard by now, um, my, I've been in quarantine with my family since uh, January 11th due to um, my mother-in-law and father-in-law contracting the COVID-19 virus. Um, so we've been quarantined up until this point. And then, unfortunately, um, we got our test results back over the weekend and both Mrs. Sensei and I have tested positive for COVID. Um, fortunately, Joshi Lucas and Senpai Bailey are not. So we've been self-quarantining in our house away from each other, which is not a lot of fun. Those of you that have gone through it, man, I, I understand it, it totally stinks. Um, and unfortunately, Sensei CJ started feeling a little ill on Friday night. We're hoping he just has a, a sinus infection or something like that. Um, but we did send him to go get a COVID test as well. We don't have the results yet, so out of an abundance of caution, we will not be having in-person classes this evening. We will strictly be doing online. We're hoping that his test comes back either tonight or tomorrow morning, and we hope that it's negative. If it's negative, he'll be right back on the mat with you on Tuesday. Unfortunately, I'm not eligible to come back to classes until next week. Um, so for today, I'm bringing the name online class to you from behind, uh, from from the Eagles Nest here, and uh, unfortunately, I had to shoot them alone because I am. I have COVID and my kids do not, and they're usually my shooting partners, so the world is turned upside down. Anyway, guys, so before we get started today, please, as always, you guys have to do your warm-ups. So please make sure you pause the video, do your warm-ups, come back when you're done. You click on curriculum, click on leave online, and come back when you're done. Okay, welcome back. So this week, guys, we're going to be touching on grappling techniques. So. First, we're going to do a little bit of a grappling one. Okay. Hey, Mr. Max, how are you? Are you going to be my grappling partner today? Are you? Are you going to be my grappling partner today? Okay, buddy. Okay. Max, go lay on the beanbag. You got to move, dude. All right, so. <laughs> I need his beanbag. Sorry, now you got to stay on that side of the camera and away from me. Okay. So, all right, so you're going to be my grappling partner? All right. This is Max, guys. Hi, Mr. Max. All right, so. Grappling is what we know as, we refer to as ground fighting. Some people might consider it wrestling. Some people might refer to it as uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, or we just call it grappling. Uh, as you know, the Edge Martial Arts pulls concepts and, and such from many, many different styles. So this week we're gonna be working on all types of different grappling techniques. So I'll give you a little bit of time. This is a different kind of learning curve. Now, <clears throat> first we have to do a little bit more of a grappling warm up. So one of the things that we have to learn about is shrimping. So we're going to talk about shrimping right now. So when we shrimp, it, it all has to do with body positioning. Okay, so right now, my body's in one straight line. Okay, right here. And what I need to do when I shrimp, I need to get my hips offline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my hips in the sky like this. I'm going to roll up onto my shoulder, and I'm going to push my hips out to the side. Okay, so you can see now my hips are on the side and I'm in the shape of a shrimp. Note that one shoulder is completely off the ground, almost like I'm sleeping on my side. Then I'm going to straighten my body out. I'm going to shrimp the opposite way. I lift my hips. I'm going to shrimp out to the side. I'm going to roll on my shoulders. See how I push my butt out to the side there? Okay. Now, we're not going to utilize shrimping a lot at this level at yellow, orange, green, and blue. But it's important to get the concept down because we're going to start to really employ instill it at the next level. So, again, we're going this way. So I lift my hips, roll on my shoulder, and shrimp. Pull my feet in, lift, roll my shoulder, and shrimp. Okay, I'm gonna show it to you from this angle here. You see my body's in one line. I'm gonna lift, roll onto my shoulder. I want you to watch that I push my hips off line here. Boom. Lift up on that shoulder and shrimp. So what I want you guys to do now, so I want you to shrimp around the house a little bit. Maybe go on the on the wood or the tile floor and put some dust rags on your back and clean up the floors for mom and dad, okay? Alright guys, pause the video, come back when you're done shrimping. Alright, welcome back. The next drill that we're gonna do, guys, is we're gonna do what we call bear crawls. So when we bear crawl, and you're just going to make laps all around your house. We're just going to move around the house like a bear. Moving like this, just getting used to being low. <laughs> it's pretty short, huh? <laughs> yep. It's a small classroom in here, okay? So 
bear crawl, so pause the video, do some bear crawls around your house. Please fix that. Okay. All right, good. Welcome back. The next one, this is tougher. These are called gorilla walks. And I have to be careful with COVID. I'm supposed to make sure I don't exert myself so my breathing doesn't get out of control. So I'm just taking everything nice and slow today. So when we gorilla walk, guys, my wrists are going to be like this. Not like this, but like this. My feet are even. I reach out with my hands and put my hands down in front of me. Put all my weight on my hands and pull my feet forward. Pull my feet forward. Boom. Watch again. I'm going to go from the side here. All my weight's on my hands. Can't let my wrist bend at all. Okay? That's called gorilla walking. You want to gorilla walk around your house? Pause the video. Come back when you guys are done. Welcome back. Now, the next one. This one's a challenge. This one I don't expect you to get right away. This is called a four corner drill. Four corner drill. When we do the four corner drill, you notice my, my feet, one foot's in red, one foot's in blue, one hand's in blue, one hand's in red. So what we're gonna do when we do the four corner drill is I'm just gonna move 90 degrees, which is one quarter turn on every transition. And it's almost like a game of twister. I'm gonna re be replacing a hand with a foot and so forth. So for example, I'm gonna go left foot to right hand. Now I'm gonna go right foot to left hand. Left foot to right hand. Right foot to left hand. If you notice I went exactly a quarter turn each time. Now I'm gonna go the opposite way. <clears throat> right foot to left hand. Left foot to right hand. Right foot to left hand. Left foot to right hand. Okay, so that was two directions there, guys. Again, making sure I don't overexert myself. I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to show you a couple times. You have this neat ability to rewind and rewatch. Yeah. Rewind and rewatch. Rewind and rewatch. So you can get those reps in, okay? So pause the video, do that, come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. So, Next thing we're going to need to work on is we're going to talk about our grappling positions. Now, orange and, or green, yeah, orange and green belts, green and blue belts, you guys already know these positions pretty well, but we're still going to go through the steps. Now, I'm going to grab one of my grappling partners today to go through these positions. If you don't have a partner like this yet, uh, what I recommend is using a couch cushion or maybe even putting your uniform on a big stuffed animal or something like that. Okay, I'm going to use one of these grappling gummies. The good news is we are making these available at Lima for purchase. Unfortunately, you're going to have to wait until I get back for details on that. But we're going to make these guys available for purchase, okay? So the first position we need to talk about is this position here. When your opponent turns it back to you, okay? So right here, this guy's in what we call dead man's position. From here... He can't punch me, he can't kick me, he can't block when I hit him, I can choke him, I can bounce his head off the floor like a basketball, I can tickle him, well he's not ticklish, I can try to tickle him, okay, we can tie up his arms and all kinds of arm bars, okay, never ever 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 turn your back to your opponent, okay. Next position, this is called the mount position, okay? From the mount, I still have supreme control here, but at least he has his hands in front of him to try to block or to try to grab. Problem is, if he wants to punch up at me, I can sit up out of it. If I want to hit him, I can drop into him. Okay, if he wants to choke me, I can sit up out of it. If I want to choke him, I can just lean right into it, okay? So it's not a great deal for him to be in this position. It's better than where he was, at least he has a better chance. So mount, being under the mount is better than being under dead or in dead man's position, but still not a great position to be in, okay? So this is called the mount. The next position I want you guys to know about is a reverse mount right here. Reverse mount, okay? So from the reverse mount, I'm gonna be chest on chest. 
I'm gonna underhook his arms here. Notice I'm in a low position. I'm not high like this. There's nothing to keep him here. So I'm gonna pin him down with my chest on his chest and underhook both his arms just like this. And I spread my knees nice and wide and get my hips very, very low. Okay, just like so. So I get my hips nice and low right there. Okay, this is called reverse mount. I wanna make sure that I underhook his arms. It keeps me from drifting into a bad position where I'm too low on his body. So I'm gonna be up nice and high like this right here. Okay, next position, this is going to be called side mount. From the side mount, I'm going to slip this hand underneath his head, and I'm going to make sure I get this far side underhook over here. And I'll put my hands in what we call the gable grip position, the gable grip position. When I gable grip, I'm going palm to palm, and my fingers wrap over my thumb, like so. So I have my control and control here, this is the gable grip position, okay? So I'm in control of the fight right now. Finally, the last position that we need to know for today, this is called the guard, okay? Now when I have the guard, I'm gonna wrap and scissor my legs tight around his waist, right up here, okay? I'm here, from here, if I wanna extend away and keep him away from me, I can, he can't reach. But if I wanna pull him in and do some chokes or strikes, I can do that. If he tries to do any type of other moves on me, I can just extend away. But I can also work different things like arm bars on here. Okay, just like so. Okay, so we're in a good position of control right here. Let me review again for you guys. Now, in case you don't have a grappling dummy at home, just grab a pillow, stuffed animal, anything like that, so you can familiarize yourself with the positions. Or if somebody at home is willing to work with you, grab them. Again, his back is to me. This is called dead man's position. Top is in control. This is called the mount. From the mount position, top is in control. This is called the side mount. From the side mount, top is in control. This position right here. This is called a reverse mount. Remember, chest on chest, knees wide, hips low. Under hooking both arms right here is called a reverse mount. And finally, put this guy inside my guard. Okay? Feet cross the ankle. I don't want to be down around his butt. Up high around his waist so I can control. Okay? All right, guys. So grab somebody. Familiarize yourselves with those positions. Come back when you guys are done. All right, welcome back. So, real quick before I show you your last drill for today, I want to talk to you about being healthy, staying healthy, being diligent about being healthy. This this coronavirus, this pandemic, this COVID nineteen uh, situation that we're in. And the subsequent quarantine has been exhausting. It's been a long 11 months. And for 11 months, I successfully slipped and blocked and countered and, and evaded COVID-19. And finally, it caught up to me and it slipped in a punch. And now I'm dealing with COVID-19. We have to stay diligent, guys. I've run into a few people that say, I'm done wearing masks. I'm done. I'm done with this quarantine. I'm done with this. It's not, I don't even know anybody that's got COVID-19. Guys, I have COVID-19. And here's the thing. When you wear a mask, you wearing a mask is not about you. It's about everybody else around you. You wearing a proper type of mask and wearing the mask properly, covering your nose and washing your hands, it's not about you. It's about them. It's about you making sure that you're not getting anybody else sick with COVID-19. By you not giving it to somebody else, then they're not able to give it to somebody else. That's how we stop it. Now, the vaccine's here. <laughs> I, I guess I won't be needing that for a while now, but the vaccine's here. I was fully in line with getting my vaccine as soon as I could. Okay? We're going to have to do that. And the light's at the end of the tunnel. Hopefully by summertime, we're going to be pretty close to back to normal. But in the meantime, guys, you've got to do your part. Wear the mask. Don't be selfish. Or don't be selfish. Be selfless. Remember, the mask is not about you. 
It's about that. Okay. Last thing I want to show you guys is a little bit about ground and pound. So we're going to do a little ground and pound from the, from the mount position here. Now, I'm not going to get too exhausted in this because, again, I want to save my breath um, from here. So when we're on top of the mount here, we have lots of different ways that we can take care of our opponent. We can submit them with choke holds, arm bars, and so forth. Or we can just pound away on them. And when we pound away on him, we have the advantage. Because like I said before, he can't reach me, but I can reach him. Okay? Now, one of the things I like to do is I love big head slaps and I love palm strikes. We are not a fan of when we're on top of the mount, punching down. When you punch down, if he moves suddenly and I miss, I'm going to break my hand on the ground or break my wrist. So, when we're on the mount, we're primarily using open hand strikes and elbows in here, okay? So I want you to get whatever you're gonna train on, whether it's a pillow or a couch cushion or if you have one of these grappling dummies, you're gonna position yourself in the mount, make sure you're sitting right about their hips. I want you to practice head slaps. And when you head slap, we're not raising your hand and slapping it like, like somebody's slapping, you know, knock it off kind of slap. Our arm is nice and stiff as we come pop. So I'm hitting them right around the ears or temples. Palm strikes come right down in the face. And elbows. When we elbow, remember we're hitting with the blade of the elbow here. So I'm lowering my body. So your drill right now is you're going to do four 30 second rounds of ground and pound on your opponent. So just have somebody start a timer for you. And you, do, you can unleash havoc on them. You're going to do your palm strikes, your head slaps, and your elbows. And you're going to go to town with them for 30 seconds. Do 30 seconds, then rest for 30 seconds, and do 30 seconds more. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. Yeah. All right, welcome back, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's class. Um, you know, I know it's not... Normal, but what's been normal in the last 11 months? Not a whole lot. But listen, just a reminder, hope to be back in the mat with you by next week. Since it's CJ, hopefully he's negative and he can be back in the mat with you tomorrow. Until then, if that's the case and we get and he's positive and we can't be there, we're going to keep bringing you Lima online like we always have because we are dedicated to you. Thank you guys for being Lima strong. Thank you guys for being Lima loyal. We'll see you online. Oos.